The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard the commandment, An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But what I say to you is, Offer no resistance to injury. When a person strikes you on the right cheek, Turn and offer him the other. If anyone wants to go to law over your shirt, hand him your coat as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the man who begs from you. Do not turn your back on the borrower. You have heard the commandment, You shall love your countrymen, but hate your enemy. My command to you is, Love your enemies, pray for your persecutors. This will prove that you are sons and daughters of your heavenly Father. For his Son rises on the bad and the good. He reigns on the just and the unjust. If you love those who love you, what merit is there in that? Do not tax collectors, do as much. And if you greet your brothers only, what is so praiseworthy about that? Do not pagans do as much? In a word, you must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with a heart, and that people listen with their hearts, with the Holy Spirit in the heart. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, you are here. Thank you for the sacrifice, the effort you made to be here with the Lord this Sunday. And wherever you are, you are there. And God is there. Mindfulness is being present. The Lord is here. You are here. And the person beside you is also here. Pwede ba mindfulness ulit tayo? Pakitignan mo naman yung katabi mo. Basta po, hi. We're together today. Thank you, Lord. And mindfulness, I don't know if you minded it. It's raining. Drizzling. This time of the year, akala natin, pa-summer na. And then, something like this happens. You know, for some, this is disturbing. Hindi ito logical. Hindi dapat mangyari. But for us, we say, okay, there is a God who knows better than us. And maybe this is what the Lord is telling us today. He is telling us Clearly, go beyond your eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth mentality. He's telling us to forgive, 
to go the extra mile, just to let go yung mga nakautang na lang. So, He is telling us also that we continue to pray, forgive those who persecute us. Mga kapatid, listen, because He knows what He's talking about. What the Lord is telling us today is beyond logic, beyond justice, and beyond uh, the law is love. He is asking us to level up. Many of us operate logical. We are very logical. That's fine. God gave us a head. Many of us are very legalistic. The law must be followed. That's also fine. But there's another thing, the realm of love. I'll give you an example. Mayroon pong na golden jubilee. Husband and wife. Eh, nung exchange of vows, you know, the husband was saying, well, you know, I love you all these years. Uh, medyo... He was just talking for everybody to hear. But when the wife spoke, sabi niya, you know, you know everything. What happened these past 50 years. And then, eto na, she spoke from the heart. I know all your lies. Alam ko na lahat mga unfaithfulness mo. But I decided long ago, that I'd rather go on living with your lies than go on living without you. Wow. Naku, yung mga, hindi pwede yan, martyr naman, nagaganyan na na yung mga iba. Hello, sabi ko, look, she made a decision to love. And who are you, who are we to judge and say, martyr ka, walang kwentang ginawa mo. Exactly po, when we follow the Lord, many people will call us stup- sorry, stupid. Mga sira ulo. Lugi ka. You're a loser if you follow Christ. You follow the way of cross. You follow the way of love. In the eyes of this world, that's the losing formula for this life. Fine. But you have to choose. What is God telling us today? Choose to be a child of this world or to be a child of God. To be a citizen of this world or to be a citizen of God. Sisters and brothers, alam po nyo, si Bruce, si Bruce, <laughs> This dog has reminded me so much about God's love. Faithfulness of a dog. Who am I? Alam po nyo, many times I forget where he is, but he will never forget where I am. Hahabol at hahabol yan. When I walk with him, he sanitizes, secures everything. Kung may mga pusa sa gilid, dito pupunta rin doon, defending the master. And many times I say, God, what did I do to deserve such a wonderful dog? Mga kapatid, ito rin po sanang feeling natin. Many times I ask God, Lord, what did I do to deserve so much love and forgiveness from you? It's amazing. Really amazing. And I learned from Bruce, ang dami po siyang magandang ugali, open to all, aso ng bayan, loved by all. But one thing stands out sa akin. There are times when umatras ako ganun, naapakan ko si Bruce. And you think he would bite me? He would bark? No. Atras lang siya. Not even a bark. Not even a bite. Yan na yung sinasabi ni Lord. Na kung binato tayo ng bato, batuhin mo na lang tinapay. Learn. There were times, and there are always times in our lives, even in my life, 
when we have persecutors, when people talk about us, people use us, napakasakit po. You know what it's like when they stab you at the back. And they, you don't even know who they are. Cowards. Sa akin po, kung ako po sinasaksak sa likod, nakaharap ko ko kay Lord, the Lord is looking at them. He knows who they are. And the Lord will defend me. I need not fight back. I will fight for you, says the Lord. Please don't go down to their level. The many times I experienced that, I did not hate. I did not wish ill. Sana Lord, parusahan mo na sila. No, 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 no. I'm, I did not that. I never did that. Ganito po yun. When you experience any suffering or pain, just offer for the conversion of those who hurt you. Meaningful po yun. Every time I receive pain from other people, I use it for his, for her conversion. Parang ganito po yun. Pag binato ka, pulutin mo na lang yung bato. At huwag mong ibabato sa kanya. Ialay mo yung bato na yan kay Lord. This is the level God is asking us to do. Foolish, maybe. But if you don't level up, ang gulo ng buhay mo. God has spoken. We hold on to His Word. Choose to be a child of God, not a child of this world. Choose to be a citizen of heaven, not a citizen of this world. Bottom line, at the end of our lives, ang dami ka bang nakaaway? Ang dami kang nasaktan? It's your choice. Forgive, especially those who are difficult to forgive. Why is the Lord telling us? Because He knows it is possible. You can do it. And when you do that, you have that peace which this world cannot give nor take away. The challenge is there. So, in short, martyr. Martyr them. And I would like to share with you, last Friday, our dear Father Rector, Pablito Tagura, SVD, was consecrated a bishop. Bishop of the Apostolic Vicariate of San Jose Occidental, Mindoro. At alam niyo po ba ang kanyang motto? I lay down my life for my sheep. John chapter 10, verse 15. Anima meam pono pro ovibus. Sabi niya, he was inspired by two martyrs sa SBD po. Second World War, we had Bishop William Finiman, SBD, Bishop of Calapan, Mindoro. He was martyred. He was tortured, slapped by the Japanese because he was protecting the ladies and the sisters. And the Japanese wanted to make something out of them. Yun. Nilagay siya sa isang malit na bangka and they tied his hands and somewhere there, tinulak na siya. His body was never found. Near Isla Verde. Bishop Tudor Brutenbrook was helping also the people and especially the prisoners. He disappeared. Ito po yung tinatawag natin mga one-time, big-time martyrs. They died for the faith. By the way, all the apostles, 12, all died 
a martyr's death. Lahat sila. May mga pinugutan, may mga na-crucify, binaliktad yung crucifixion, everything. Nilagay sa kumukulong uh, langis. All except one, I think. St. John did not die a martyr's death. One time, big time martyrdom. It's a gift given only to some. But for us, little time everyday martyrdom. To live the faith. So mga kapatid, lahat naman tayo may experience ng martyrdom. When you go out of your comfort zone, sige, pagbibigyan ko na lang, that's martyrdom already. O sige, ako na lang gagawa. O sige, tatahimik na lang ako, hindi ko na lang sasagutin ito. These are little martyrdoms every day. And that's what God is calling us to do. Tignan nyo, your relationship, mag-asawa, mga anak, if you follow that road that the Lord is telling, you'll have a more peaceful life together. Pero kung may nagsalita, babanatan din ang salita, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, endless, walang katapusan. Somebody's got to give. Somebody's got to take the road of humility. Palagi kong sinasabi sa wedding, oh, husband and wife, you know, tignan nyo yung chopsticks. Isa lang ang gumagalaw sa chopsticks, right? Yung isa steady lang. Yun. Kung galit yung isa, tahimik lang yung isa. That's you, the husband. Tumahimik ka na lang. Wala nang problema, di ba? Anyway, vice versa. Try it. Try what the Lord is telling us. To give the extra mile. To do the extra mile. Give the extra smile. Give God a chance. Give love a chance. Go beyond your logic. Go beyond your legalistic mind. Your, your, your justice and all. Go to love. That's the challenge for all of us. A good shepherd. And Bishop Tagura told us in that last Friday, what is it to be a everyday simple martyr? Selfless service and going beyond my comfort zones. Try it. But also, you know, do it with joy. Si may mga martin ang tatapang, hindi nyo ba alam, ginagawa ko sa inyo, ang dami akong sakripisyo. Eh, ah, kapatid, whenever you're given a chance to love, be happy. God loves a cheerful giver. Don't keep a record. Binibilang mo kasi yung ginawa ko ito, ginawa ko ito, ginawa ko ito. Tapos ipapakawin mo sa kanila. No. Alam na ni Lord yon, Bahala na siya. Maganda po yung sinayon ni Bishop Tagura. He said, nung sinabi niya sa mama niya, 93-year-old mama, Mama, magiging bishop na ako. Alam niyo, sabi ng mama niya, ay mabuti naman anak, matatakpan na yung kalbo mo dito, meron ka ng skull cap. Imagine that simple joy. At saka, when he was now vacationing in Abra, may nagkakaraoke, ang ingay. You know, Bishop Pops is very, you know, about these things. Bakit ganyan mo ganyan? Sabi daw ni mama niya, bayaan mo na anak, once a year lang naman yan, Christmas. Hindi, ipabaranggay na natin para tumahimik naman sila, nakakaistorbo sila. Again, the mother said, anak, Bishop ka na, dagdagan mo ang pasensya mo, ha? Words of wisdom. Maybe that's what we should all do, starting today. Be more cheerful, be more joyful, and be more patient. You see, the wonder, God's word works. Give it a chance. When you follow God's word, humility and all, doors open, darkness disappears. 
hearts soften and love and life flows on. Give peace a chance, my dear brothers and sisters. So today, may we continue to just love. Kahit na malugi ako, okay lang. Kahit na kinakawawa na ako, oh, hindi naman martyr complex, ano? Pamartyr ka ng pamartyr. Hindi ho yun. Ibig sabihin, I'm doing it because this is what the Lord asked me to. You know the meaning of martyr? Martyr yun, a witness. You witness about God's love. Nakikita ka ng mga tao and they realize there is a God. Witnessing po yun. And by the way, Ash Wednesday na. Where were you last year? Anong araw yung Ash Wednesday last year, Father? Ah, Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> o yan naman, wala namang gumingiti na. Anyway, I have a very simple suggestion for the season of Lent. Ito po ay time for tiis ganda. Ano ibig sabihin ng tiis ganda? Sacrifice. Yun na yan. Fasting, abstinence, fasting from your gadgets, all the who works. You do it with love. Self-imposed martyrdom na yan. Pangalawa po, t- uh, linis ganda. Confession, penance. That's it. Yun pong kailangan ibig sabihin nito. Cleansing. Pangatlo po, it's a time for alay samba. More prayers. We invite you, Stations of the Cross at the back, Sanctuary. Come. You experience the Stations of the Cross there. Do it with the heart. And... Number four, alay kapwa. Help people. Share your blessings. Do it in secret. Do it with joy. So, tiis ganda, sacrifice, linis ganda, cleansing, penance, confession, alay samba, more prayers with God, and alay kapwa. You help people. Mindfulness. Tignan mo nga uling katabi mo, yung mukha niya, wala bang tiis ganda yan namin. Anong atmosphere ng mukha niya? And very important. By the way, uh, tomorrow I will go to the U.S. for talks, uh, recollections, and masses. I'll be back uh, March 15 or somewhere there. Please pray for me. And I ask myself, why do I go? I'm sure the reason is, okay, if I could share mission, I could share God's love. So, uh, the masses will continue, same, and in 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 view of the harana, mayroon naman nagharana ako doon magisa no. We'll have, I'll just be sending also a seven-minute Sunday reflection. If you can play it here or also in the YouTube channel. So mga kapatid, one with you. Pray for me. I pray for you. Give God a chance. Give love a chance. Let God's word work. Try it. You'll be amazed. If you take the road of humility, you take the road of sacrifice, you take the road of hiddenness, you take the road of service, you'll have the joy which the world cannot give nor take away. And somebody said, anyway, at the end of life, what really matters is not what we bought, but what we built. Not what we got, but what we shared. Not our 
competence, but our character. And not our success, but our significance. Live a life that matters. Live a life of love. As we bow our heads, we again reflect before the Lord. Lord, help us to fill the world with love in any way we can, in whatever way we can, while we still can. And to fill the world with love, and to fill the world with love, and to fill the world with love, my whole life through. This is our humble request, gift to the Lord this morning, together with Mama Mary, who lived a life so full of love. Amen. Lord, amen.